Hello peeps, so didn't get up today till fairly late, you know, had that Sunday morning lie-in. By 11, I was up and about. I went to the library and I printed out lecture notes, which I feel is quite a good step towards actually doing work. The maths department don't seem to print out typed notes for you. And honestly, my hand nearly fell off last week doing all the writing throughout the lectures. And I feel like with maths, you can't even summarize that well because if you miss out an important line in like a derivation or equation, you can look back and think what the hell was going on. Yeah, I'm feeling happier now I've got those notes printed. Everyone else seems to be doing a fair bit of work, so I feel I should be too, because I'm getting psyched out and I should be doing work maybe, even though I haven't been set any. I think it's the whole kind of third year mindset that like this year's quite important and everyone's going for it. I think I'm almost out the other side with fresh as flu. My voice is returning back to normal. We are much less croaky. I can breathe through my nose again. Life is good, fresh as flu is over with, and hopefully that means I'll be immune for the rest of term. I've just been eating some of the cake that me and Leah baked, and it actually tastes really good, and I'm not just saying that. Everyone who's tasted it so far has said, oh, actually, that's quite good. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain this afternoon because outings aren't particularly pleasant when it's raining and cold. And next week I've got an outing on Saturday and Sunday, so let's pray I don't have any work. I've been signing up for quite a lot. Tomorrow evening I'm going to concert band rehearsal for the first time. Wednesday evening I've got a social with the Coxes of the boat club. Tuesday night I want to go to a astronomy society talk. And then I've also signed up for a load of outreach stuff at the astro department. And I've got five lecture courses I want to keep up with because I'm taking an optional extra one for interest. And I've got a load of YouTube stuff to edit and I want to have a life. I feel like I'm back in first year again and having to find that balance between work and fun. I'll update you guys on how it goes. I just feel like I should be CV building at this point as well. Hello everyone, this is a dartboard and we're playing darts and I am quite good at darts because I just got 40 points in one turn. Triple 11 which I was aiming for. So peeps, guess who's doing some work? Me. I came back from CAF, played darts with my friends, and then headed back here. And eventually I've managed to sit down at my desk and do some work. It did take me a while. I did sit around and go on my phone for quite a bit when I got back to my room. But I'm onto it now. I'm just going through my lecture notes on the lectures I've already had. I've had five lectures so far. So I'm just recapping them, making sure everything that I've been told so far is in here and hopefully I'll be given my supervisors this week so I can get in contact with them and organise supervisions because we have to organise our own supervisions this year which is different because normally they're organised for you in first and second year but third year they're like go be independent organise your own supervisions take responsibility for your own learning get in touch with these PhD students or academics. I've gone through all my lecture notes, I've made a pile of the ones I need tomorrow so I'm all organised because tomorrow is a Monday, it is a new week and I'm determined it will be a successful week. Yeah I think I'm gonna call it a night, get ready for bed, go get some water from the kitchen. Oh dear I'm being terribly bad at updating you guys and taking you guys with me but today basically standard stuff had lectures in the morning, three lectures. I still went to the optional third lecture. It's on my timetable, but just for interest. I don't actually have a lot of work set. I don't have supervisors, as I've already mentioned. Like, I literally have no work set. So I might as well go to these extra lectures for the time being and not just waste time doing nothing. And I knew that if I just left and came back to my room, I'd sit around doing nothing. I wouldn't even read over my other lecture notes. So I might as well have gone to that lecture. This evening, I'm going to concert band rehearsal. I went to the first rehearsal of this particular concert band, which is like a non-audition, quite chill university concert band. I went to their first rehearsal at the start of my first year, and I think I even spoke about it on the vlog, but then I just took on so much other stuff in first year that I just didn't have time to keep going, so I stopped going. As you can see, I've got my clarinet, you can see it over there, with me this term, and I'm determined to play it a little bit more. I'm just walking to concert band rehearsal now. I'm feeling kind of nervous, like I feel like I'm a fresher again, because like it's joining a new society kind of thing and not knowing anyone. I've been playing my clarinet a bit over the last few days and it's really nice to get back into it, so yeah. Morning coffee time. Then I had my first lecture of the day. Between lectures we have to cycle between different departments, so here I am heading for my bike.
After a speedy cycle, I parked my bike outside the Cavendish and headed to the lecture theatre. Successful morning of lectures, just popped by Sainsbury's to buy some cheese because I'm making a toasty. It's the return of the toasties, guys. And then I've got free afternoon, so I think I'm gonna get some questions done. Okay, just got back from lectures, back into my room. Um, I've just gone and bought some cheese at Sainsbury's, as I just said. I'm excited, I'm gonna go make a tuna melt toasty. It is a quiet house during the day now. Like, I didn't realize quite how quiet it was gonna be, but it's because majority of us are sciences students, and in third year, like you tend to spend a lot of time at your department, especially when you've got lots of labs, and I'm the exception, the others do have labs quite regularly, so they still have quite full-on timetables. But it's nice because the second years in our house are not at the departments all day, like last year I wasn't at the physics department all day, so they're always around, so that's nice to have company at lunchtime. Be better with mm. Lunch has been eaten, I had a tuna melt toasty, and then a fat slice of chocolate cake, there's only one slice left now, so I'm hoping someone will finish that up today and then the fridge is cleared of cake. And it's probably good because I can be a bit healthier. I'm going to attempt to be productive this afternoon. I mean, especially the end of the relativity lecture this morning, I stopped listening in. I mean, I didn't stop listening. I just gradually started to get lost in the maths and what was going on. And then by the end, I was like, nope. I don't know what's going on anymore. I think it was quite easy. It was just a load of chain rule stuff. Nothing that complicated, but once you like lost the first step and it was following on and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so I need to read over that. Also, I need to review some of the stellar dynamics lecture notes because the lecturer was like this morning, what's the average mass of a globular cluster? Typically, how old are stars in globular clusters? What is the average velocity in globular clusters? And I'm like, I don't remember. I don't remember. So I need to kind of maybe make some flashcards and try get a bit more on it with that stuff. And then also in my stellar dynamics lecture this morning, we were going over orbits and kind of quite basic dynamic stuff that I've covered in first and second year that I should know like the back of my hand. And I was discovering as I was listening to the lecture this morning, I really, really don't. So I kind of want to have a look over that, practice just deriving it all for myself and just really, really be solid in that base stuff. One of my other lecturers sounds like Professor Snape from Harry Potter. So I'm just sitting there in a lecture feeling like I'm in potions class, <laughs> which is quite fun. I didn't tell you about concert band. Concert band was so good yesterday evening. I'm so glad I went. The music was fun to play and it was actually playable. I've only got grade six in clarinet, so I'm just a bit dodgy at clarinet. I'm also quite a nervous clarinet player. So when I'm in a band, I'm really scared of playing something wrong. So I hold back then as well. My clarinet skills leave a lot to be desired and I was worried about being able to play the stuff, but I actually could play it and it was fun music as well. I did have a coughing fit midway through the rehearsal, which was incredibly embarrassing when you're just sitting there dying and everyone else is just playing the piece like normal. I recovered though, had a drink of water, it's all good. Hello everyone, so it is the evening now. My day has not been productive as I wished it to be. I got a bit of work done this afternoon, but a lot less than I wanted. I'm not quite back into that work mode yet. I think, especially because I haven't actually been set the work, I don't have any deadlines. I'm kind of struggling to motivate myself. But anyway, I've had calf dinner with my friends, had a bit of a chat with my friends, and now I'm heading off to a talk from the Cambridge University Astronomical Society. They've got in a guest speaker talking about dark matter. I really kind of just want to throw myself into the course this year and I feel like going to interesting talks like this is a good way of doing so. I quite enjoy them. They're quite interesting. I don't know if this will be anything new. Like I've been to a lot of talks on dark matter before and let's face it, we don't know much about it. I am back from the talk. It was good actually. The guy giving it was called Brian Clegg who was a science writer. He actually studied natural sciences at Cambridge and like yeah it's always interesting to hear about the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy and all the different competing theories that might 
explain them, except nothing's ever been detected and there seems to be flaws with every theory. On Wednesday, I had the fun activity of cycling to lectures in the rain. Can't you see I'm just loving life? Okay, I've had lectures this morning and I can't be bothered to go back to college, so I've just had lunch in the maths department. Now I am heading for the maths library, which I can see. It's over there. Yeah, it's a busy day. I'm suddenly feeling like I've got quite a lot of work and I've just got my list of supervisors for the year who I now need to get in contact with. And here is the maths department library, which is actually very nice and also very empty. Maths students clearly don't go to the library. I just dropped my cam card, which is like my access card for uni, which I need for like everything, every day, to like get in my room, pay for stuff at CAF, all that. Dropped it on the ground. That was a close call. I just noticed before getting on my bike. It's been quite a busy day today. It's just gone half past five and I've only just got back in. I've had four lectures today, although one of them was optional and I'm considering stopping going to this like optional lecture course because it is on the timetable, but it's only for interest. I'm not going to be examined on it. and. A lot of the stuff at the moment is what I've already done last year, but then I think it does pick up a bit later, but also I can just see everything getting really busy this term and I don't want to like bite off more than I can chew. What you just heard me saying was that I nearly lost my cam card because I dropped it as I was taking my phone out of my pocket. If you lose your cam card, you have to pay for a new one. It's only £10, but also you have to wait for the new one to arrive and you have to have a temporary card and it's all a bit of a faff. And I've never actually lost my cam card before and I wanna keep up that run, so. Yeah. Also this afternoon I had a second round of coffee and biscuits. After that we had an undergraduate journal club meeting. You go through a few papers, like astro papers. It's run by PhD students and they're just giving loads of advice to third and fourth year students on how to tackle the part two and part three astrophysics course, which is so, so useful. All the inside tips and tricks and I need all the help I can get. Good morning everyone. So, I love my life. Basically, you know, I'm getting up, just had breakfast this morning. My lectures don't start till 10.30, which is just such a nice time for lectures to start. I'm going in slightly early though, at 10.20, for coffee and biscuits, because the department is so nice, they give us coffee and biscuits every day. Hello everyone, so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Oh, let's stop that music. I'm listening to some music while I'm doing my work this evening. I'm a little bit tired and I need to bring my auntie. And I've got a busy weekend coming up, so I'm really hoping I don't fall behind with work. Thank Thank you very much for watching this video please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel exciting content coming your way this is third year it's getting exciting now hit the notification bell follow me over on my instagram and yeah i'll see you soon with another video from my hectic life at uni <laughs> bye guys